Hi guys, just a quick vid. Um, just about to take this out for a bash. Good job I checked. Front wheel nuts loose. Uh, yeah, I'm just about to take this out for a bash, but I've got some parts for it, and I've also got to quickly put this cage back on top. Um, so I'm just going to crack on, whack these bits and bobs back on again. Um, I was thinking it was all ready to go, but I forgot the cage was off. So uh, yeah, just need to whack this back on. And I'm going to swap the wheels and tyres over to the uh, to these trenches, not trenches, Proline Badlands. Um, desperate to see how they go. I love these, these wheels and tyres, but uh, I want to try something else. So uh, yeah, I'm going to whack the those on. I've also got a T-bone wheelie bar, which I'd love to try, so uh, if I can get that on as well. Just running against time a little bit because I've got my, my friend coming over. Yeah, I don't like doing things in a rush, but... Sometimes you've got to crack on. Um, hopefully, it won't take too long. It should be a nice, quick one. Yeah, and the order of things I want to get on, the cage was top of the list, obviously if it rolls over it's going to, it's going to get crushed. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to whack these wheels and tires off, this, this wheel looks loose, so it is a really good job I didn't take it out. I thought it looked wobbly earlier on. So uh, yeah, quick pit stop for wheels and tires. It's going to look completely different on these... Uh, Badlands, absolutely, totally different. But I kind of like these, and I want to run them on the street a bit more. Um, trying to find a body I want to run on the street. Um, I'd like to put some form of buggy body on it, but uh, all in good because I've got another, I've got the body to do sell, you know, the uh, proper body. So I've got this pro line body to do, but none of that's going to happen now. I'm just this is literally just a quick pit stop. So if I'm blocking away, I'm in a rush. Right. Yeah, I, want, I just checked the lipo. The lipos are not fully charged either, so uh, they're on charge. Well, one of them's on charge. I need a double charger or 6S lipo. An actual 6S one I can charge in one go, to be honest with you. Right. No, anyway. Uh. So I'm just slash the tires in the process. Right, so these these are the standard really these things, badlands. I'm gonna mess about with this one, just gonna crack them straight out because that was crap. Everybody else said be careful one of those not. On all the videos I watch, everyone says be careful with a scalpel. Obviously, it's fairly obvious to be careful with a scalpel. Right, so two over there. I don't know if they're directional. Um, don't look like it. I don't think they are. No, they're not directional. Right. It's going to look more like a a kind of truggy, buggy thing again. 
Wow, something blue on the front of the Really, not a lot of will not come through there. There you go, good. Something can't be fixed with a bit of a whack. Very awkward to get into it, I can't, I can't get the, uh, I can't get my finger on that. I can't see. Not actually the wheels I wanted. These had to come from Germany just to find the original Badlands because they're all on these NX30 something or others. And I, I don't like the look of them. They're too, they're too wide. I know, I know the uh, ones I've got are wide, but yeah, they're not. They weren't the look I was after for the truck that I'm building. So uh, it's all need a good. Yeah, they do. If in doubt, give it a clout. I need to get myself a. Uh, I'm gonna go around and tighten these up afterwards. I need to get myself a, an actual socket big enough to go on the end of the uh, drill for these, just to nip them off. Anything to make it quicker. The reason they're difficult to get on is because of recess so deep can't get your finger in but they're nice wheels though they're nice wheels they weren't what I was after but they're kind of no they're nice wheels I like them see what they look like on yeah you can't get your finger in Just, uh, right I'll tighten them all up afterwards With the last one that's a pain. It's gone up inside the wrench. Didn't think it would be enough to stop it from going on. It doesn't actually look like it is. No, yeah, that's gonna have to be fingers. That is awkward. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, you can get a start on them. I wasn't giving them a fair shot. You get a start on them with your fingers. See how much they balloon. Right, I'm going to start tightening these up from here. Oh, let's definitely tighten up that one. Desperate for a one inch stand. This is too wobbly. Right. So that's that one. And that's that one. Right, that's that's what I wanted to get done, the wheels. Let's see what it looks like with the body. So I'm not I'm trying not to mess about too much. Because I've got another battery to chuck on charge as well. They were down to 77% and I thought they were charged, so I'll be swapping that one in a minute. The battered body shell. Really has seen better days this has. Alright. Get it off the stand because it never looks right when it's not sitting properly. General idea. 
Yeah, it's going to be difficult to look good on that body. That body's uh, seen better days. Yeah, that's, that, that, that cool. That cool. I'll see how they go. They're supposed to be very good. Um, grip well. Gearing will go up a little bit because I think they're a bit bigger. Bigger diameter. I'm not sure. No, they're about the same. Shouldn't change too much then. We'll see. These are really what I want for off-road and I'd like to switch the SRCs to more on-road. Stop bashing them around so much. So right, that's what it's looking like. Look a lot better lower. I might drop it a bit. It doesn't need to be this high at the moment. Drop it down a bit. Right, so I don't know how involved this wheelie bar is. Never be that involved, but no, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that for a proper fitting. I'll fit the front bumper and the wheelie bar separately and call this done, ready to go out for now. Get the LiPo on charge. Brilliant guys, thank you.